Both these teams 7-1 entering game one of the 2022-23 Pac-12 season. Your lineup's Tara Wallach with Charlize Ledger-Walker, their leading scorer at over 20 a game. Johanna Tedar, Ula Motuga, and Bella Murakatekte. It is four returning starters. You can feel the energy and the rivalry in this building right now. This place is packed. And as the Cougs win that tip off and you have to ramp up and then you kind of ramp back down They're gonna go into non-conference play. So every team is doing this every coach agreed to a mutual date and here we go And here we go is right the Cougs and that crimson and gray the Huskies in their home whites uh, Officials here today Kyle Bacon Charles Gonzalez and Felicity Willis and the Cougs start off hot hit their first shot from the that is Johanna Tedar and great news for the Huskies, Jada Noble back on the floor. She is a really athletic guard, great scorer, great defender. She missed the last couple games. She's back. And here she is, top of the key, and that one won't rattle in. And Bella Murakatekte, the 6-3 center for the Cougs, hauls in that board. Jada Noble with a deflection and chases it down, and now she's got an open court opportunity, and the Huskies are on the board. Making a statement early. Ula Motuga, excellent three-point shooter, can't connect. And Van Dyke rebounds and runs. It's in all the way to the paint and hits it off glass. Nobody picked her up. It's transition defense, you got to stop the ball. Haley got all the way down to the block. That's an easy shot. That is the versatility of this Washington roster. They can rebound and run in a lot of different positions. Ledger Walker puts on the brakes, the defense fly. Have to be one and done on defense. The Washington Huskies lead the Pac-12 in offensive boards with 17 a game. The Apple Cup, got to keep dominating. Looking for Murakatete down low. Jada Noble looking for a hole in the defense. Can't find it, now backdoor cut. Skip pass over to Lauren Schwartz. She'll let it fly from three, and she gets it to go, and that's a good sign. She has been in a bit of a shooting slump. Cammy Etheridge wants her team to play with the European flair. Everybody touching it, move it quickly, and this time the three-point play opportunity. That is Wallach. And she's nearly as tall as Bella. She's so good at cutting when... The Cougs get zoned. She's the one flashing to the top of the key, going short. Quick ball movement for the Huskies, and the freshman pulling the trigger. Too strong, but Oliver there with the rebound oh. and a pretty pass down low, and Haley Van Dyke gets an easy bucket. And be lethal from mid-range. That could really change her game. Charlie Sledger Walker. Pull up jumper too easy for the offseason. The field goal percentage is the biggest evidence of that. 10% improved from last season right now. Another pull up jumper. Oh, she's in a rhythm. 35 points against San Francisco earlier this season. The highest mark for any Pac 12 player so far this year. When she gets going like that, you get those shots early. Those are in your bag. The rest of the game, watch out. Schwartz out to Oliver. Huskies have yet to get Delaya Daniels many touches. Oliver into the lane and she gets it to go with the left in the lane off the dribble. Leads it to Murica Tete. Tough angle and Delaya Daniels gets a piece of it. Huskies can run. Stan Stein, excuse me, with a little look off. Four points in the second half. Queens University in their last game. So they know their defense has to produce and turn into transition. Oh. La Miranda, California, Orangewood Academy, four-star recruit. It's a good look. Let's see if they go back to it. Daniels gets in the lane, picks it out to Steins. Schwartz hit one already and make it two. And now we've got Emma Rothhausen. And that one is denied. Tedair into the lane. Huskies with an opportunity, and now Tedair is back. Lauren Schwartz has hit two threes, now into the paint. It's Stonewall. In the Roadhouse, as you mentioned, number 21 in white, another one of the transfers joining this Husky program as Oliver lets the three fly, and she hits it. 
Why not? Top of the key. Trinity Oliver has the strength. She shoots. She's one of the few players that shoots from above her head, no matter where she is on the floor. Nice take by Mura Katete. And then Mura Katete on the other end, showing her athleticism at 6'3". Roadhouse had a nice screen to free Oliver for that three. Now another one here. Oliver able to get some space and make it two buckets. And Grothaus has a lot of experience too. Four years at Lehigh. She knows how to set a good screen. And when you get older, you know how important those fundamentals are. Setting a screen and setting it up. Nice cut from Sarver into lane. The West Seattle High School product. And it already has a bachelor's degree in industrial and systems engineering and is pursuing a master's of science in informational systems and and is a student athlete i mean that's not easy and that's another thing with this timing UW is in finals week right now so preparing for this game ramping up they've got a lot of grad students i think they have three or four grad students on this husky team and those finals they're not easy at least no i don't know about no, you but joke. i don't remember loving finals I pulled some all nighters back in the day. <laughs> One or two. We all remember <laughs> finals week for those. And yeah, you're kind of in a fog. Yeah. So far, the Huskies have been crisp, though. They, this is their first game in a week. Shorts with five on the shot clock into the lane and powers it through. Gotta have it. That's when we saw some of the great games last year against Pac 12 teams. Tahina for three. No good, but Mura Katete skying for that rebound, and it pops free to Sarver. And now T.T. Watkins just takes it right out of the air, and probably a good foul. Roadhouse going at Mura Katete, and another rejection. She's and now be. a technical foul is called by Kevin Bacon. You saw Mura Katete. She gets really excited when she has a big block. And Kevin, or excuse me, Kyle Bacon saying that this was too much is the emotions in a rivalry game. I'm sure it was nothing crazy, but you, you have to block the shot and act like you do it all the time because you're the top five shot blocker in the Pac-12. And I get it though, rivalry, everything's a little bit heated up. Lauren Schwartz. Now perfect from the free throw line for the season. Just six attempts, but she nails both technical shots. And now Steins all the way in the lane. And kicks it to T.T. Watkins and her. But they're a finishing team. Yep, coming off their biggest comeback win in program history at Portland. Charlize Ledger Walker got into some foul trouble there. She drains the three. Has had holes to start games, but 19 points. They were down. They came back and won at Portland. So come back. That's, that's in their blood. Jada Noble, the triple penetration, kick out Schwartz, her third three, 13 first half points. We still have five and a half minutes to go. And she's got space. That's the thing I think we're going to see the Cougs tighten up on her. But, man, she's in a rhythm. And it's good to see because, yeah, the, the early on games, it's been a bit of a struggle. You said ticky-tack injuries here and there. Nothing like hitting an open three. Tahina wants to match it and done. And we're not done with the second quarter yet. This pressure has bothered Washington. Oh, and again, another turnover. Tahina looking to turn the corner, and instead it's a turnover to Van Dyke. And now she's off to the races and points off turnovers. There's another one for the dogs, another bucket. Charlie Sledger, Walker, wow. quick answer. You can't leave her open, and she is in double figures. She's got 12. That's the timeline, but just 13 on the shot clock for Steins. Daniels come, comes away with the O board. Go up. Yes, she does. Finishes with the left. That's your rim protector. Huskies are hitting threes. They're not getting as much inside. The big part is Bella Maricotete block shots. Ledger Walker stays hung. She's got 15 points. She is 6 of 9 from the floor. She's worked on that so much this offseason with the coaching staff, figuring out the best shots for her on the floor. I mean, that's as good as it gets. Three-level score. We've seen her do just about everything already. Here's a beautiful feed from Noble. She gets another bucket. Over the top, Mura Katete. Tough angle, and she gets denied from Daniels. And now Daniels is going to get teed up. 
Uh, this is the apple cup, folks. There's just a little bit of extra heat <laughs> as Daniels and Murakatete have been exchanging words all game. Yeah, and that was a great screen by Bella Murakatete there. And it's going back and forth. I mean, the Huskies don't like the taste of losing both Apple Cup games last year. Great movement by Jada Noble. She is such a general in this offense. So good in tight spaces, coming off the screen and just giving it to Delea. I know she's helped create some of those shots for Lauren Schwartz as well as leading the Huskies. I love it. There's the Cougs and the Huskies. Two technical shots, both cashed in by Charlie Sledger Walker. No good, but Noble there for the offensive rebounding. This Husky team, one thing they do do really well is hit the offensive glass. 17 a game leads the Pac-12 right now. Huskies led by as much as 13. It is down to eight. Van Dyke is open, and when she's in her bag, she can hit any shot. She's got eight points. Really efficient Van Dyke, four of six from the floor with four rebounds. Charlie Sledger Walker, quick trigger, and she hits another shot. Right off the get-go, hedge hard. She just popped right behind the screen, and that is tough. Oliver turn in the corner, and one. Anytime you go to the rim like that, it's going to turn into something good. That looks like a sixth-year senior against sure a first-year freshman. Really spreading out the scoring. Seven, seven eight seven seconds passes. remain here in the half. Ledger Walker flips Ooh. it over to Murakatete. What a pass. And that is how the half will end. A little shot in the arm for Washington State. And we are underway here in the second half. As Charlize Ledger Walker, the story for the Cougs, 20 points in the first half and immediately a beautiful play by the putting a giant smile on Tina Langley's face on the bench because that is efficiency. They were 50% from the field in the first half, nearly 60% in the second quarter. That's her game. Quick answer. It's not like she's being a volume shooter today. She's efficient. There you go. With another bucket, that is Wallach. Averages 10 points and almost five boards a game, and they need her production. Now just a six-point Husky lead as Noble lets the three fly in on most nights. This time getting it done on the offensive end. Three ball by Ted Air is no good. Tough board in traffic by Van Dyke. Noble pushes to Oliver. Good defense gets set. And the Huskies will try to run something here. Noble just hit a three. Left open from long range again, not a three. Uh, with her teammates when something big happens, and that matters in a rivalry game with momentum. Pick by Murakatete. Walker with her fifth made three of the game. Hand in her face, too. That was not an easy shot to make. Highly contested. Daniels. Noble flying by the defense and then just hands it off to Daniels. Can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound. We started the second half, and that could have been a dangerous thing for Tina Langley's squad. Tina Langley's relatively young squad. And the Huskies have got to figure out an answer for Charlie Ledger Walker that time. You normally see this kind of offensive output from Washington State where it's all CLW, but that's what it is right now. Charlie Sledger Walker, her career high was 35, set earlier this season against San Francisco, one of 50 players named the Wooden Award watch list, and she's carrying the Cougs right now. Schwartz, her first bucket of the set. Step back three to Hina, rattles it out, and now the ball loose on the ground. Mad Dash, who's going to come away? It is the Cougs. Good hustle play. And they get another possession. And now wide open on the opposite was Motsuga. And she is fouled. She's been key in this rivalry. She hit the overtime three in Pullman. The three to send it to overtime in Pullman. She's experienced. She hasn't made a lot of noise. Felt like the first shot she's taken. To see her get a little aggressive. The senior knows she has to contribute here late to get her team back into it. Can't get the free throw. But again, another possession earned. And now Ledger Walker. Oh, if that would have gone, it would have been a dagger. 
given all kinds of momentum to the Huskies. Instead, it is Hannah Stein's ball going all the way to the rack, the true threat. A little bit of a balance there, looking for somebody to pass out to, to kick back to. Marika Tete off the floor, so Motuga is your five. Now in the Broad House onto the floor for the Huskies. Ledger, Rocker, and one. And how much she needs to get her shot off. The scoop, keeping her shoulders, keeping the defender off just in time to get her shot off. The free throw is good. And Charlize has 26 points. Van Dyke getting all the way in. Easy to look for Groat. Huskies led by eight at halftime. They lead by 12 right now. Less than a minute to go in the third. Stein's getting harassed by Sarver. Goes behind the back to El Ladine. True freshman's got to let it go. And she connects. And then the Huskies pushed it back out. 14, their largest lead here in the second half. El Ladine, the true freshman, hitting a big jumper with the shot clock winding down. And now pulls the three, and it's good. The, the ability to stay warm and come in and be clutch. And we saw Washington State move to a zone defense there. Ledger Walker stand. looking to answer and mm -hmm. does. I've seen spots in practice where she can just take over, but entered this game looking for that stroke. Two of 24 from deep and got the switch on the screen from Motuga. Leaves it short, gets her own rebound and then gets fouled by Stein. Hands of Ledger Walker, and then the buzzer sounds. Just breaks the rhythm of a free throw shooter. Doesn't bother her at all. <laughs> so, I already had the ball in my hands, but she is on fire. Point 32 balance. Schwartz with 15 to lead the way for the Huskies. Gives it to Noble Short, and then Daniels comes away with a rebound. Schwartz open top of the key. Ooh. Big hit. Just on it today. This Husky team is really playing their best that we've seen all season. Huskies defense has been leading the way for them, but they have yet to find a way to stop her. That lady right there, Charlize Ledger Walker. Oh, that doesn't go in, but Murica Tete has her back. But the Huskies get the stop. And they will be patient in this offensive possession. Wide Noble open. gets fouled on the three. Didn't see the follow through quite where the foul was. Dana Noble has a chance to really start icing this game. Ten points now. She hits the first. Came in at just shooting just three of eight from the line. That's 38%, but knocks in those two and make it three in a row. She's not messing around. She's got stuff to do. And the Huskies push it back out to 12. Pick and roll. Ledger Walker, mid-range again. She has been absolutely unguardable, and she's got a new career high of 37 points. Tia Presley had 37, and Borislava Herstova had 37. Borislava had 38 points against UW back in 2018, which is second most in school history. And I'm going to say right now, I'm going to take well, out of the timeout quickly, Jada Noble with a bucket. The Cougs trying to answer. Murica Tete denied down low. Charlie Sledger Walker, and she hits it. She's got 40. Keeping the Cougs in this game. Schwartz in the lane. No good. Daniels with the follow. Delay Daniels getting the offensive rebound off of her miss. Three on the shot position. clock. Ledger Walker in the lane. One of the few times in this game she has not been able to break down the defense. Defensively, the Huskies will run more clock. Van Dyke gets loose and scores, and the Huskies lead by 13, less than two to go. Cook's got to score quick. Motuga from deep, short, Van Dyke board. Poked away, though, by Sauber, and she Ooh. gets it back. In the lane, trying to score, can't get it. Wallach there, and she scores it. And now they can set up the press. Stein's the true freshman. Cammy loves her in the game in these late situations. She's got a great feel for what needs to happen. Double team comes to the freshman, the sixth year senior, Trinity Oliver. Pressure from behind. Sarber was giving chase, but great Oliver felt it, yeah. And now the Huskies will set it up. Down low, Schwartz. Oh, Charlie Fletcher Walker poked it away, saved a bucket, and now takes it away. The fact that Charlize was able to recover and prevent an easy bucket could really help the Cougs right now. 
Ledger Walker at 40 points. And that one is short. Looking for the school record. Oliver takes it away. Huskies in no hurry. Schwartz says, all right, you're going to leave me open. You better Can they find Ledger Walker for the school record? She's got 40. Being denied by Noble. They finally get it to her. No, they can't. Stripped away by the Husky defense. Oliver out in front. All the way. And another bucket. And that's going to do it. The Huskies are going to get this one. This place is going crazy right now. And that would be the only win, really, for the Cougs to get that record for Charlize Ledger Walker. But the rest of the squad, I mean, I know Charlize was taking a lot of shots there, but she needed help. She needed some backup support. Just didn't get it. And credit to the Huskies defense. A beautiful game by Charlize Ledger Walker. 40 points, but she will not leave happy because the Huskies are going to get the win. And what a win to start Pac-12 play for the Dogs. Crowd on their feet. The Huskies fired up. Tina Langley with her first win in this rivalry series. It's Coach Etheridge a handshake.